Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video on the top five adventure helmets for 2021. So what is an adventure helmet? In the most basic terms, it's a helmet with a visor and a peak. The idea is that it combines a full face touring lid and a peaked motocross helmet to suit bikes that can be ridden both on and off road. Here's our rundown of the top five on the market based on a combination of customer reviews and what we found out when we reviewed these helmets for ourselves on the road. Our Eyes Tour Cross 4 Adventure Helmet has been around for ages and it's also been picking up rave reviews for just as long. Of the 188 customers who've left a review for their Tour Cross 4, 173 of them gave it the maximum five stars. That's 92% of the reviewers and that is seriously impressive, believe me. The lid's shell is made from Arai's super laminate fibre and the whole helmet weighs 1,683 grams in a size medium. It's on the heavy side, but the strong shell allows Arai to use a softer impact liner, which they say is the best way to protect your head. The venting system is good, the comfort liner is typically plush for Arai, and the build quality is also right up there with Arai's normal standards. The only real downside in my opinion to this lid is that it's a bit time consuming and faffy to remove the visor or to take off the peak so you can run the lid in street mode. For the full story on the Tour Cross 4, check out our in-depth review video all about it. There's a link to that in the description for this video. So this is where our top five adventure helmets becomes our top six adventure helmets, kind of. I'll explain what I mean. So what I've done is I've grouped together two Krios helmets as they're both really popular with customers and both deserve a spot in the top five without pushing out one of the other lids. The base Krios here combines a composite fiber shell and this lightweight peak to come in as the lightest adventure helmet we've weighed. That's just 1,256 grams on our scales for a size medium, which is crazy light. The pro version, to have here as a carbon fiber shell. And that actually weighs a little bit more than the straight Krios. This medium in the Pro came in at 1,312 grams, which is still very light, especially for an adventure lid. This Pro costs 160 pounds more than the straight Krios, and it comes with a visor that darkens in sunlight, which is absolutely brilliant. And it's also got a freer flowing chin vent. It's also got a really quick Fidlock strap fastener, which is much faster than the D-rings on the straight Krios but I reckon many people will prefer the confidence of the good old D-ring fastener on this one. In terms of customer reviews, 95% of reviewers gave full marks to the straight Krios, and 86% of reviewers gave five stars to the Pro version. We've made dedicated videos on both of these helmets, which you can check out by following the links in the description. The Nolan N72X is more than just an adventure helmet. While most of the lids we're covering here can be worn with or without the peak and also with or without the visor, this one can also be either an open face helmet or a full face helmet, depending on what you need at the time. The chin bar detaches from the main lid and I've counted seven different ways you can wear this helmet. You can have adventure lid, full face touring lid, motocross lid with goggles, or there are four different types of open face lid. At 1,784 grams, it's on the heavy side, it's actually the most heavy of all the helmets we've got in this guide, but it has a plastic shell, so it's no surprise really that it weighs a bit more than the others. That doesn't stop it scoring well with customers, with 84% of the 30 reviewers giving it a full house of five stars out of five. The internal sun visor is really handy, this is one of only two lids in our top five with one of those sun visors, and it's a good one too with an anti-fog coating. The N72X is a really good option if you want an adventure lid mostly for touring on the road, but with the flexibility to perform quite a few other roles when you need it to. It's also got the lowest price of the five lids we're covering here. At the moment it's 250 quid for one of these helmets in plain colours and a bit more if you want a graphic. Go to the description for this video for a link to our video all about this helmet. Fourth on our list is Nex's popular adventure helmet. It's another versatile lid that comes with all sorts of extra bits and bobs, like mountings for action cameras and different side plates to make it work better when you're wearing goggles or when you're running it in street mode by taking off the peak. It has a composite fiber shell, but it still ends up weighing 1,773 grams. That's for a size medium as weighed on our scales. And that makes it the second heaviest of the five helmets in our top five behind the Nolan. Like that Nolan, this helmet also has an internal sun visor, which is handy. Unlike the Nolan, it doesn't have an anti-mist coating, which is less handy. Still, the x 2 gets a good reception from customer reviewers, with 81% of the 53 reviewers giving this helmet a maximum five stars out of five. 
The venting on this lid is one of its real strong points, and I'd say it's definitely worth a look for riders who will spend most of their time on the road rather than on dirt. To see our video all about the next x 2, check out the link in the description below. Fifth in our list is Shoei's classy Hornet ADV, which is a really good all-rounder that suits both touring and off-roading really well. The composite fibre shell makes it one of the lighter helmets in our top five. This size medium tip tower scales at 1560 grams, so only the crazy light Krios helmets are lighter from those in our top five. This one doesn't have the facility to run without the peak, though you can obviously whip the visor off and wear goggles instead to go into motocross mode. The Hornet has typical showy class and it does well in customer reviews. There are 45 reviews for this lid as we record this and 82% of those reviewers gave the lid full marks. To see our video all about the Hornet ADV, check out the link in the description below. So those are our picks for adventure helmets in 2021. I've been able to review all of the helmets we've mentioned in this video and they all have something to offer. If I was looking for something to use off-road a lot, then the Climb Krios Pro would be my first choice because it's so light and airy. Not far behind that is the Straight Krios because you save 160 quid. For road riding, it's really hard to look past the Arai Tour Cross 4 because it's difficult to argue with something that's picked up 173 five-star customer reviews. If you want more information on any of these helmets, we've made in-depth video reviews about all of them and you can find links to each of them in the description for this video below. I hope that helps you choose the right adventure helmet for you, but if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.